Hey guys, this is the uh, self-leveling mount that I recently built. Um, also a bearing bearing mount or swivel mount. Um, normally I have a uh, magnetic mount right here, but uh, and and usually I use the the frame around the GoPro three, so it's that's why it's not uh, not really balanced for this waterproof housing. Um, I'll show you some. Uh, real quick footage of how it how it works and what it looks like, and then we'll come back and and I'll show you how to put to, put it together. Okay, the main part of the self-leveling rig is a swivel bearing mount. Um, I wanted to be able to connect any of my mounts on one side of the swivel rig to the camera on the other side. So I used two flat adhesive mounts. You drill a hole the size of your screw in the middle and then use a, a countersink bit so that the screw head will sit flush. That way you can um, still slide your, your mounts on and they don't get caught on the screw head. After that you need a 3 quarter inch CPVC cap. Just drill a hole in the middle and then you need a spacer made out of 3 quarter inch CPVC so that your bearing does not slide all the way in. You want it to sit on the outside so, after you've got that, you just take, take a screw, slide it in this way, you need a nut, nut in there to catch the screw, tighten it up, and that's, that's how it mounts that way. The other side, you take another flat mount, this one I have the adhesive removed, and put your screw through. You take your bearing, which is a uh, 6 by 22 by 7 bearing. Um, you probably have to order these. Um, throw it, slide it on the screw. Oh, excuse me. You want a, um, you have to have a washer between the two so that the bearing can spin freely. Then you take a nut, thread that on. Tighten it down. Um, the bearings by themselves fit pretty snug into the CPVC, but you will need a little bit of packing tape around the outside. And just slide them together. Fits pretty tightly. And that's the, that's the basis for the rig. That's the bearing mount. So this can spin freely, obviously. Um, on this side, you can, you can install your, your mounts for attaching it to your surface and then on the other side you would install your the mount for your for the camera um, that's the basic swivel rig uh, if you I'm, I've got some other projects in mind that will use this swivel rig and, and not the not the self leveling arm to put the arm on it's pretty easy you, you can use this swivel rig with with the camera mounted without the, the leveling arm, but what happens is the, the camera swings real wildly. You need, you need a counterweight on top so that the camera on the bottom just barely weighs more so it's a real fluid motion. So to put the, put the arm on, pretty simple. It's just a uh, bent piece of aluminum. Um, 
threaded so that I could put counterweight washers up here. Um, this clamp was just, I needed a tiny bit of extra weight and it actually, the wings, you can flip them out and it adjusts the angle of the camera. Um, just put that on there. You gotta have your washer next. And bearing. It's fairly, fairly simple rig. And just slide it on here. And that's it. It's, it's down right now because of the weight. When you uh, attach the camera, it balances it out. And uh, actually, I got this upside down, sorry. Balances it out so that the camera hangs down just barely enough to, to keep it steady. That's the, that's the basic rig. Um, if, you, if you don't need adjustment of, on this side, um, you can just mount the CPVC to whatever item you want to mount it to. For instance, you could just mount it straight to a piece of, uh, or to a magnet, and then, then you don't have any adjustment up or down or left or right, but it'd be a more solid adjustment. If you, if you do want some adjustment built in, um, and you want to mount to other, your other GoPro mounts, you, you kind of need two of them to uh, to these slide-in mounts uh, face to face, which is it's not really set up to do that. So you take a take one of your uh, just your arms and cut off the third cut off the third uh, mounting position. That allows you to slide it in like normal. It's pretty tight. You might have to file on one side, but it, it, it does work. And then uh, then you can slide the other the other end in just like normal. So. Um, anyway, just some just some ideas for you. Um, it's been a been a fun project, and I still got some little tweaks, but uh, that's that's basically it.